me, Becky, Youth Services Librarian here at the Longview Public Library. And today I'm going to show you how to do our week five all ages summer reading craft tie-dye watercolor. To make your tie-dye watercolor painting, you'll need your craft packet, which you can pick up in library drive through or at the lower floor desk, and from home, a glass of water. You might also want a pencil. In your craft packet, you'll get five pieces of photo paper and a little watercolor set that comes with a palette of watercolors and a paintbrush. So this project is all about being creative and experimenting with watercolors and using it on this special photo paper. Um, so what you'll need to do is get your paintbrush nice and wet and transfer some water over onto your palette in the different colors. So one thing that's different about painting with this photo paper instead of watercolor paper is that it's going to sit, because it's glossy, it's, the paint is going to sit on top of the paper for longer before it starts to soak in. And it kind of gives you longer to like mix and blend things, but it also makes it so as it dries, the paint moves on its own a little bit more, which is kind of interesting. So this is one that I've done. And I'm going to play a little bit here with mixing colors. On this one, I have red. And I'm going to add some blue and see if I can get some purple. But as you see, we called it the tie-dye tie watercolor because of the way that the colors can blend together and create a tie-dye effect on the photo paper. So here's two little pieces that I've started. Um, one thing that you could also do is to take your pencil and kind of sketch out a design that you'd want to try to follow as you're painting. I've just freehanded these ones. Here are the books we have to recommend to you this week. The first one is a picture book called Let's Play by Irv Toule. And he writes, this is just one of his wonderful picture books exploring color with young uh, children. And his picture books are pretty simple looking, but very interactive. Um, they invite readers to interact like physically with the illustrations, and they're a fun way for kids to learn about color and shapes. The second book is a nonfiction book for older kids called An Introduction to Watercolor, and this is published by DK. Um, it, if you're doing this project and have more interest in learning about watercolors um, and different watercolor techniques, this is a really good book to, to check out. This next one is called Contemporary Dye Craft. It's by Melanie Brummer. It has over 50 tie-dye projects for scarves, dresses, t-shirts, and more. So if you're interested in learning how to do your own tie-dye, this is a really cool book to start with. Um, lots of really fun projects, step by step. And I think this book is written for adults, but could be also really good for kids or teenagers learning how to tie-dye also. And finally, this last book is a little bit different. It is called Eyes of the World, Robert Kappa, Gerda Taro, and the Invention of Modern Photojournalism. So this book is about photography, not about watercolor or tie-dye. It's by Mark Aronson and Marina Budos, who are two really great writers of nonfiction books for youth. And it follows this couple who were among the first photojournalists ever, and their careers and like personal relationship. Um, they got their start reporting on the Spanish Civil War, um, and this book is full of their photos and um, the stories that they told that really changed the world and the industry. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoy making your own tie-dye watercolor painting. If you'd like to share your project with us, you could send us an email or share it on our Facebook or Instagram pages. If you'd like to earn your badge in Beanstack for doing this painting, make sure you enter the Beanstack activity code GROOVY. Uh, don't forget to keep logging your reading in our summer reading program, and I hope you liked watching this video. We'll see you at the library.